live? We're live. Hi folks, I'm Darren Law from Flying Lizard Motorsports. I am the program manager, used to be the uh, driver, drove for many years for him, but uh, what I thought we'd do is take you on a little tour of Flying Lizard Motorsports and show you uh, a little about the shop and what we do and what we have inside. So, come on in. All right, first off, what should we do? Let's, where should we go, Kelly? Let's do your office. Let's go to my office. So, this is my office where I work on a daily basis, uh, where it all happens, all the magic happens here. Um, we have some really cool stuff in here, some old uh, trophies, we have a really nice uh, painting that was done by Bill Patterson, he does a lot of really cool stuff for a lot of different teams. We did that uh, back in 2012 when we finished off our season with the factory Porsche program. I'm stealing that as soon as we're done here. Not way. happening. We have a hood from one of our cars that uh, we had everybody sign and then... I got this here. This is probably the uh, best looking stand-up poster you guys will ever see. Uh, but why does he have a Captain America shield when you're Canadian? Mm, I am not Canadian. He's he Canadian. Passport. Anyway, <laughs> let's not go there. So we had a uh, we had a uh, Captain America theme one year and had lots of fun with that. So anyway, I get to sit here and stare at myself all day every day. Nice. We should pause really quick to tell the fans that for this tour, you're going to want to pay attention because there are trophies all over this shop. And what we're going to do is do a giveaway on our Twitter for whoever can guess how many trophies are in the Flying Lizard shop. So pay attention. First, I gotta do a count. Yeah, I'll a count. Lot. I don't, it's gonna take a while. So, I don't trust you to count. So, You'll get distracted. Yeah, I'll count. We'll let Kelly do it. <laughs> all right, out here we have a, uh, this is kind of a showroom for us. Uh, we've got all, not all of them, but most of the trophies that we've collected throughout the years. There's a lot of trophies in the shop. We have them in many different areas. Um, this car, right here is the 2011 Flying Lizard art car. We actually, for those of you that followed uh, our Porsche history, we had two art cars done. I drove the blue one, which Porsche actually owns, and that was put in the museum over in Germany, and Seth Nyman actually owns this car. We kept it here. Uh, Patrick Long, Jörg Bergmeister, and Lucas Luhr drove this car, and they finished, if I'm correct, they finished fifth at Le Mans that year. Uh, we've only done two versions of an art car. This was done by Troy Lee, specifically designed by him, and it's to honor all of the Porsche drivers that have won Le Mans. And you'll see the different names on the car, and those guys that were at the track uh, when we were there in 2011 signed it um, by their names. So super cool car, one of a kind. Uh, it's really special, so we keep this one on display here in the... Uh, in our, in our front office. And I must say, after seeing it in person, it is amazing. I mean, you see it in photos and it looks cool, but seeing it in person and the attention to detail and the multiple coats that are on this car, it's incredible. It is very cool. A lot of fun to drive. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that year in 2011, I drove, um, we were running and leading the race, and at 7 a.m. we had an issue with the engine and couldn't finish, but uh, that was my shot at the podium at Le Mans. Anyway. Is what it is. Next time. Next time. Next time we go back. We're uh, hopefully we'll be back there at some point here shortly. Fans can donate money to Flying yeah, Lizard Motorsports. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> uh, we have in our race shop. We have a conference room here um, where we conduct all the big business and and uh, take inventory of the trophies. Taking some more inventory of trophies there. Don't want to go too much in detail on our schedule. Nope. We've got a lot in of stuff the schedule. Going on. In the schedule. Um, yes, this garage is on the Sonoma Raceway compound. It is. Property. We have a shop. It's called, uh, I believe they call it the South Shops. We're on the top of the hill at Sonoma Raceway. So um, what's great about being here is we've got a lot of the race shops that we work with and we can test here uh, every month. We can literally drive out the door, down to the track and go. But so. robbers, please stay away. Yes, exactly. Uh, coming into our, our main shop, this is the, we have two sections to the shop. We have a car side and a work side. This is the car side of the shop over here. Uh, we have many different projects going on besides our, our Tudor and World Challenge things. Uh, this here is, a, is the twin turbo V8 out of the McLaren 650S GT3 car. This is uh, sitting on the engine stand, getting wait, uh, waiting for installation. Massive as well. Yeah. Um, of course, just like any shop, we have many um, shelves of different parts and pieces and, and equipment. Um, and different toolboxes and different things like that. Uh, this car, we have three cars on the lift right now. We actually have many cars in the shop, but this here is a 650S GT3 car that we are building up. This will be our third car. 
Um, we are working on the program to have this out at some point here shortly, but it'll be uh, in similar paint scheme to Kevin Estre. It's going to be completely black, and that's what it, that engine sitting there is for. But, uh, it's three quarters of the way done, and uh, as soon as we get a break from our race schedule, we'll finish the thing off. So, in like 10 years now? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh, obviously, different work areas and, and benches and things like that. Uh, we have other programs going on as well. We do a Porsche Club program. We have two Porsches here that uh, are finishing up on, uh, on the prep work. These are all heading to three different PCA club races in the next month. <clears throat> we will be at um, Road America next weekend. We'll be at Utah two weeks later. And then we will be at Rensport. And not only will we be at Rensport with these cars, we're going to bring the art car with us as well. And nice. Basically put it on display. But uh, right here we have a GT3R. This would be, for those of you that aren't familiar, this would be very similar to the Effort cars. Same year, same model that uh, are running in World Challenge. Over here is a 2008 RSR. Um, very similar to what we ran back in the day. And then this here is a third frame. We have two running Audis currently, R8 uh, LMS cars. This will be a third car that we're also building up, so a third chassis that uh, we'll have available here shortly. Again, another project that we're working on uh, to get up and running. Oh, wait, and then we have to sweep all the trophies oh, uh, up here Oh, yeah, we got just a contest. couple more trophies. And don't forget those up there, Kelly. Yep. For all of our fans who have just tuned in, we are going to do a giveaway on our Twitter for those who, or for the person who can accurately guess how many trophies are in this shop. And uh, it's a lot. I don't even know yet. I'm scared to count. Yep, so. it's going to take a while to count all those things up. Uh, anyway, so this is the car side. You guys have seen the different cars. We have everything from McLarens to Porsches to Audis. Um, to the fan who says we <coughs> hope that you... You hope that we come to Tudor. We are actually competing in the Tudor series right now. We've competed in three, four We went to races? Daytona, we went to Sebring, we went to Laguna, and we are planning on at least one more this year. So uh, we're doing select events there because our McLaren program and World Challenge has taken most of our time this season. And uh, what happens next year, we'll see. We're, uh, we're looking at all options next year, so you never know. Uh, on this side of the shop, this is where all of the really hard, dirty work gets done. We have a machine shop section where we have uh, we have lathes, we have drill presses, we have presses, we have band saws, we have welders, and uh, multiple different things here that we uh, that we use on a regular basis to prep and keep these cars going. This here is one of our Tudor Audi R8s, uh, and again, it's basically ready to go for an event coming up at some it's point. Missing some stuff right here. Yeah, actually, well, the, the hood is off. We're making sure uh, we're, we're repairing hoods and getting everything painted and making sure it looks good. But uh, this thing is basically ready to go as well. Mm. In GTD trim. And, and in the Flying Lizard livery. And in Flying Lizard livery. Famous Flying Lizard. Hi, Peter Von Mocha. <laughs> Dion knows this car well. <laughs> yes. Uh, we do um, all of our own carbon repair work, so you can see these are different splitters and diffusers out of the McLarens or Audis. This would be an Audi part, this would be a McLaren front end, front splitter. Um, we have just a few tires in here, most of these stay in the trucks and go back and forth, different rims, different tires for different programs. <coughs> and then... Uh, this is important. Flying Lizard takes our pit stops very seriously, and that's how we've won so many races and championships. Uh, we require all the guys to stay in shape and work out, and so we have a, well, I wouldn't call it a full gym, but we have quite a few pieces of equipment to keep these guys in shape, and, and this is uh, how they stay fit and ready for pit stops when we get to those, those different events. And it's a little known fact that uh, the team actually had an ab competition going for a couple years in a row where all of the crew guys would uh, compete to see who could have the greatest set of abs by the end of the, the weekend. Um, and Dar Jams, what kind of tire do you use? What kind of tire? It mm -hmm. depends on the series. Uh, each series has a different tire. Uh, World Challenge is Pirelli. Um, Tudor, United Sports Car, is Continental. And then we use Michelin and other tires in different programs that we run. So... Uh, we have a big variation of, of tire manufacturers that we run with. 
and then this is really just kind of the last of the pit equipment, things that we're getting packed up and getting ready to uh, set up for the next event and um, take off to whichever race we're going to. So uh, the pit equipment sits here, gets prepped and gone through and organized before it heads out the door and goes on to the next race. Okay, um, two questions. One, have you driven the Audis and the McLarens, you personally? I personally have driven the Audis and the McLarens. Um, I've driven the 12C McLaren here at Sonoma, and uh, I drove it at Detroit in Meteor Rides, and then I have actually spent quite a bit of time in the R8. Uh, we're doing um, a lot of test and development work, so uh, it's been a lot of fun. Really cool car to drive, so I've spent quite a bit of time in that car as well this year. Okay, second question. Are the tires provided, or do you buy them? We have to buy them. And how much do those run? How much do those run? So uh, it depends on the tire and the series, but you can pretty much figure on about 2600 bucks per set of tires. If you think about Daytona or something like that, uh, obviously uh, you use them every hour, so you're looking at least 25, 26 sets at Daytona alone just for the race, not including testing uh, and the pre-test, the roar before the 24, something like that. Just to give an example, we're going to go through... 40 sets of tires through all of that for a single car. It's pretty crazy. Pretty expensive. Yeah, it's totally a cheap sport. Yeah, yeah. And then we can uh, we can do a, kind of a final stock. We'll show you. Uh, so this is all of the work area, obviously, in car area. Uh, upstairs, we have uh, additional offices. We have uh, a parts room up here where we store everything. We have a little kitchen for the guys as well, um, you know, Coffee. fridge and, and office area, so they can have lunch up here. We have a lot of old flying lizard memorabilia. Oh. You know what's really cool, and we don't show, this is, we don't show anybody this, but uh, flying lizard obviously has been around since 2004, and every year we, uh, when we were in the Porsche era, we produced posters and hero cards and different things like that, and we collected and saved everything from every year and I'm not sure at some point maybe we'll sell some of the stuff off, but just to give you an idea here, these are different lanyards for Le Mans. We have coasters. We've kept every poster that we had and that we produced. I want to be girl. We have uh, different layouts and renditions and things like that signed from all the drivers. Oh look, I even signed that one, huh? Anyway, it's, it's really neat. Again, different things. Wow through all of our years. Look at those. So really cool stuff. We have lots of stickers that, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll we'll look at doing a giveaway or something. Yeah, or give some of these this ways. would be perfect for our trophy giveaway. These are from the art car. Yeah, well, maybe we'll pick some cool old memorabilia and give that away with the winner of the trophy contest. So we also carry a lot of uh, some of the old models and different things like that. From when Jorg and Patrick and Timo and Roma and, and everybody that drove for us. So we have lots of cool stuff here at the shop. Um, to answer the fan question, do our uh, drivers practice on iRacing at all? Yeah, some of the guys do, for sure. Um, they spend some time on there. I don't know who's on there and who's not at any given time, but they do. Well, they also use Forza as well, correct? Forza, yeah. Forza game. Uh, in fact, the brand new Forza 6 edition that just came out uh, has our Audi R8 in the game. So uh, anyway, that's basically, it's a cool shot from up here, looking over the shop, but that is the Flying Lizard Race Shop. I love that picture on the wall over there. Mm -hmm. That's another one I'll be stealing before we leave for the weekend. Yeah. And I'll sell it to the highest bidder. Mwah. Another look at all the trophies for you guys. Remember, the person who can accurately guess how many are in here wins. Some kind of prize. We'll figure it out. All right. That's it, folks.